Howdy, welcome to Dude RV. Sure appreciate y'all stopping by. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, remember to click on that subscribe button down there and hit the bell as well. We got a fun adventure coming up. We've got a fun adventure coming up. Now you see, I'm still, I'm still, Miss V's still set up. But first thing in the morning, early, early in the morning, we're gonna get on the road. We're gonna head south. I've got a four part journey coming up. So we're gonna head south down to Choke Canyon State Park, right outside of Three Rivers, Texas. We're gonna go down there and see if we can see some alligators. Maybe do a little fishing, we'll see. We're definitely gonna do a deep dive into the Choke Canyon State Park so you'll know whether or not you wanna go visit Choke Canyon State Park. So let's get on the road and head south to Choke Canyon State Park. At last, we made it. Look, six and a half hours of driving, mostly in the rain. We have made it to Choke Canyon State Park. So let's do a site review real quick. We're in, we're in site number 114. We are at the end of the road. It's actually a group pavilion right there, and there's a trail down to the lake. Site 114 has got some western sun exposure from the mesquite tree, and that's a big old mesquite tree too. Uh, but mesquite trees are, they're not well known as a shade tree. So hopefully we're not gonna get real hot today. Pretty level asphalt pad. I didn't even bother to use my yellow blocks. We're 30, 50, and water. There are lots of wildlife in this park, so we might get to see some javelinas coming through the bush, the brush. Uh, cell service with our Verizon back out toward the dam. There's a tower but it's it's fluctuating even when i'm pointed directly at it, it it drops from two and jumps to three and sometimes four so we'll do it you know we're camping so we don't need a whole lot of internet we've got a picnic table and all of the shade covers have this wall on the western exposure wooden table cover fire pit slash charcoal cooker. The lantern hook is absent. What are we going to do? Oh, they have a place to hang a lantern there. We're safe. Nice big yard area for the, for the pups to get out and do their business. And the, the birds, this apparently this is an a bird watcher's paradise because the, the birds have just been going nuts the whole time we've been setting up. Lots of good bird audio. Not much in the way of a patio. Uh, I may pull out the rug, but then again, I may, may not. We're supposed to get a, a shower, maybe, coming in from that cloud. 
So I'm going to grab a bite to eat and then we shall go explore. Choke Canyon State Park apparently is a birder's paradise. Birds have even got a bird sanctuary. Bird blind. Of course the water is all green. Uh, it looks very neglected. Maybe we're just off season. I don't know. Let's go see some more stuff. Well, if you want to escape the Choke Canyon and you don't have an RV, if you want to escape the Choke Canyon and you're RVless, they actually have quite a number of air conditioned cabins for your pleasure. I doubt that they're unlocked. But, ah, I was wrong. Check this out. So, this is the first time we've been someplace where the... It's available today. Three bunks, cinder block walls, and most important, an air conditioner. And you can walk right down to the water. This one's actually a handicap friendly, and you can tell by the fire pit. And of all the handicap fire pits that I have seen in my journeys, this is a cool one because it's actually handicap friendly. It's not a barrel. Looks like there's lake access down there as well. Let's go see some more stuff. I'm over here in the day use area. There's, looks like some guys came in with a big mess of fish. Not exactly sure where this goes. We'll see. Maybe a fishing jetty or something down here. I think the original intent was to have this as a fishing jetty, but with the lake being so low, <laughs> it's a lookout point. We can go no farther. All right, I'm gonna turn around. We'll go find some more stuff. Choke Canyon State Park. For my boat ramp fans, they got a big old wide boat ramp, but man, is it a long way down to the water. This lake the, is the backup water supply for the city of Corpus Christi. We're in the day use area. That was at one time the beach. There is no beach, no more. There are lots of group pavilions here. More to come. Stay tuned. Irony. Choke Canyon State Park. Irony. We've seen this once before. If you've, if you've been following the channel for very long, uh, we, we saw a very similar situation. Caprock Canyon State Park where the swim area was <laughs> a pasture. Uh, the swim area turned into a grazing area. This just, this is, you know, it's kind of sad. I mean, all the infrastructure for great family fun is here, except it's missing that one crucial summertime element, a lake to swim in.
I mean, they're not even swings on the swing set. How sad is that? Look at there. We got us a couple of wild turkey. Wild turkey in the park. This is a group haul. I think it's closed though. No, not a group haul. Education center maybe? Whatever it is, it's closed because of COVID-19. Choke Canyon State Park. As you can see, we have a, a, a ball field here in the, the day use area. And a swimming pool that has been filled in. And that was a pretty big one too. Kind of like this is a, a deserted park. There's some more turkeys. It's not quite so deserted. The basketball court. There's a uh, disc golf course. There's basketballs available. Turkeys. The turkey trot. So there's a tennis court. There goes another turkey. Hey, wait for me. I wonder. Nobody's been in here in a while, but what I'm wondering is, yes, there are some tennis rackets. So you can come and, and play some tennis type stuff. Apparently, this is a gymnasium. According to some other YouTubers that I have uh, saw their video for this park, it was uh, Two Tired Teachers. That's right, Two Tired Teachers came out here. Of course, I was wondering when I was watching the video why I didn't see very much of the, the stuff. It's another group pavilion. Another inside group pavilion. Man, they really planned on having lots of group activities out here. I guess maybe it just it just didn't pan out or something. Because it's pretty well abandoned now. Choke Canyon State Park. If you if you look at the map and the satellite, you'll see there's a 75 acre lake. And it seems to be suffering from the same water level problem as the main lake. Because this is, I think, a fishing pier. Uh, of course, they've turned it into like a bird watching station. And man, I tell you, I, got, I have seen so many birds. And that... That is the boat ramp. But it's not like they're going to let you back a boat down into it. Not that you could get one in there anyway, because it's all mud. Mud, I say, it's all mud. I see an alligator. You can't see him, but there's an alligator right out there. I see his, his eyes and his nose.
Choke Canyon State Park. And here we are. We, we have come down to the South Shore unit of Choke Canyon State Park. And there's, on the map, it shows that you can actually go down to the, below the dam, the spillway, but that road is closed off. <clears throat> so there's not much here <laughs> except the birds. It's like an Alfred Hitchcock movie. But see, they got all these nests in here and lots of bird poop. Not exactly sure what this display once was. I don't know. It's all neglected now. All right, let's go see some more stuff. We have journeyed over here to the, the South Shore unit because no Dude RV campground tour would be complete without seeing the whole thing. But there's not a whole lot to see. Uh, this is, you gotta be careful. Don't wanna step on that. Don't be running around barefoot over here on the South Shore unit. Uh, there's not a whole lot of reason for you to come over here because the lake level being as low as it is to get to the water you got to go way down there you won't be doing any swimming and as you see you can see from here the shoreline is, is so boggy At one time, you can tell this is where the water was. So the water level is at least 20 feet down. So sad. All right, we're going to go into town and see if we can find some firewood because they don't have firewood available here at Choke Canyon State Park. So stay tuned, more to come. We hadn't made it into town yet. We're still here at the South Shore unit, Choke Canyon State Park. Thought I'd give y'all a look. See at the other boat ramp. And you can, it's even more clear now how nasty the shoreline is on this lake. Now normally, if it was at normal level, This, this is, we would be standing at the water line right here. So sad. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Choke Canyon State Park. We're here. <laughs> Done everything there is to do with the exception of going fishing and I don't think I'm gonna do that here. Besides that, I'm tired. I driving in the rain yesterday. That did that got me good. So, Choke Canyon State Park, let's let's talk about. I learned something today. I had a conversation with a couple of park rangers. Uh, the real park rangers, not the, not the park hosts. They were interested in my my scooter and and we didn't have to have the ADA conversation. They they were just really intrigued by little red so while I had their undivided attention, I asked them about the water level on the lake. And I was informed that the lake is extremely low because it is only fed by the, the Frio River. And the Frio River is, is not a real large watershed. It, it doesn't have a, a lot of watershed. And there are people downstream of Choke Canyon Reservoir that had pre-existing water rights. So water has to be let out of the, the reservoir to supply their needs. And when there's not a lot of rain on that Frio River watershed, the reservoir gets very depleted. So there you have the story. Why Choke Canyon Reservoir is so low. It's just we, we've been having a series of, of droughts. Um, that's the sad truth. So Choke Canyon Reservoir, or Choke Canyon State Park, 
it's still a cool place to come and visit. Just don't expect to do a whole lot of shoreline activities. Uh, getting access to the water here is a bit of a challenge. I mean, you, you've seen the, the video, you've seen the footage. It's a long way down from here. I walked down there twice yesterday to set my camera and recover my camera. Uh, so taking the boat down there is, is, is not, uh, not even, not gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, but I really have enjoyed the trail system that, that's scooter accessible and there'll be some additions to the playlist for uh, scooter trail rides. The wildlife viewing opportunities here are just off the chart. Uh, the, the deer are just everywhere and they're not very afraid. Uh, the little Red doesn't spook them at all. Pretty well, we're at the end of our visit here. Uh, it's late Saturday afternoon and we're rolling out tomorrow morning. We are headed to a most notable Texas State Park. From here, we will travel east for about an hour and a half to Goliad State Park. And I'm, I'm really excited about getting to visit Goliad State. It's not a real big state park, but it's a, a real big deal in Texas. If you're a Texan, Goliad is a real big deal uh, in, in the Texas history, Texas Revolution. That's where the first shot was fired. So we're gonna dig deep into Goliad State Park and several of the historical important, the imp the, several of the historical places around Goliad. So the state parks is just part of, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to get all of it, but I'm gonna get as much as I can and share it with you all. I'm gonna close it out right here. If you've enjoyed our visit to Choke Canyon State Park, remember to hit that thumbs up button. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, Click on the subscribe button down there. It's very important to me that you do, and I'd be really grateful if you do, when you do. And remember to click on the bell as well so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Now, I'm on a schedule every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time, I'm loading a video, but I'm also trying to get more videos loaded more than that. I'm trying to do more than that to, to give you some infotainment. For those of you who have subscribed and have been following along, I'm very deeply honored. Thank you so much. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing, because y'all keep saying, hey, we love it. Do some more. So I do some more. All right, with that being said, y'all come back now, you hear?